Hi guys, Gretchen Christine Rossi here, and we're at the Eco Lux Lounge for the Emmys weekend, and we're here on behalf of Cars Recovery Center. Aaron Stevens with us here today. How are you? I am great. How are you, Gretchen? I'm good, thank you. Thank cool. you for joining us here today. So, Aaron, how do people know you? Uh, they would know me as a uh, former professional wrestler, uh, Damian Sandow. I was Ms. Dow for a minute. I've had a host of other names, but uh, I've since <laughs> shaved and lost the spandex. Actually, out in L.A., just kind of exploring options in the entertainment industry, and it's, it's been great. It's been, uh, again, like we were talking a little bit before, yeah. not what I thought it would be, but it's also better. You know? So that's interesting to me, because normally you hear people say it's not what it thought it was going to be, and it's worse. No, you know, I think the key in life, like what I learned uh, in my previous career, was adaptability. Yeah. and very much go with the flow and, and right. with anything you know if you have a set plan of how you think your life's going to go right uh usually Not there's twists and turns and i think we've right. all experienced that right so i just am open to kind of whatever um you know any other opportunity any other projects that fall in and if uh if kind of things line up and it looks like a good career move do it yeah so as you know, there's a huge epidemic um, in this country right now with um, drug and alcohol addiction, and in particular, um, the op opioid um, epidemic that we're dealing with. And sadly, people 50 years of age and under, it's the number one leading cause of death right now, is these overdoses, um, and in particular uh, with heroin use. So what do you think about what we currently have going on with this epidemic? Well, I, um, I live uh, when I'm not here in Louisville, Kentucky, and the yeah. heroin, it is an epidemic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There were, I believe, this was back in February, in one day there were like 126 overdoses on oh heroin alone. Gosh. And, um, you know, I, I know a lot of the police officers that, uh, you know, that work in Louisville and everything like that, and uh, as well as a lot of people that work in, um, you know, recovery and, and right. just kind of help treat it. And it's just, it, it needs to stop. I mean, something needs to be done about it. It's interesting you say that because that's what's so great about the Cars Recovery Center is mm -hmm. that, you know, they have really innovative uh, therapies and different ways of going about treating and helping individuals. Uh, the facility is just right here in Tarzana, and people awesome. fly from all over the world, really, to come to the facility. And um, it's a six-bed uh, home for people. So they are very specialized in making sure that it is individualized for the person, and um, they're really treating the core, like what you're talking about, and people really need to, you know, get to the core of what's happening, because that's where this epidemic is going to stop, yeah. is where we where we start with that. So yeah. um, have you ever had anybody that, you, that has been directly affected by addiction? Directly, no, but um, I have several people that are very close to me, and, uh, and you know, one in particular who um, her father and her, uh, her brother, who, uh, they, they do struggle, yeah. and um, seeing the toll it takes on her, right. it's, it's heartbreaking to me. Right. And, you know, when, when you have an issue and you have uh, a substance abuse problem, right. it's unless you've actually, I, I think, kind of gone through that, mm -hmm. personally, you, you, you could really never know fully the, right. the hole that it has on you. You know, it has to come from the individual on the inside, I think. Yeah. The individual has to say, you know what, enough is enough, right. I'm gonna stop. And, right. um, you know, with um, one of the, the people in her life, they did stop and they were, you know, oh, thank goodness. Over. and it's just, it's so great, you know, to have that victory and. Um, did they go through recovery? They did. Oh, see, that's great. They did. Yeah. And. Um, you know, just seeing how proud she was, yeah. and um, you know, it, it's it's such a great thing. Great. So true. Yeah. It's very true. Well, you guys, check out CarsRecovery.com for more information. If you are struggling, as he was talking about some of the people in his life that he knows they're struggling, Cars Recovery Center is a great place to start. And thank you so much, Aaron, for your time. You're very today. welcome. I thank you. It. Thank All you. All right. Take care. <laughs>